This week we sit down and find out what Lawrence's shitty action superhero name would be while watching the first episode of One Punch Man. Welcome to One Shot Reviews. Hey. What's going on everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, man, what would your superhero name be, Lawrence? Uh, <clears throat> my superhero name <laughs> would be El Shmula to the Moolah. What, so what would your power be? You just like, you just throw money around and that's it? I, my superpower is I get money. <laughs> I get money? <laughs> that's what yeah, my superpower I is. I have really good investment uh, <laughs> foresight and I just make money on money and that's it. <laughs> I don't do anything to help people with it. I just make it. I know exactly when to put in for the bets. I know exactly <laughs> who to bet for. All that. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> but see, you, then, then you're going to turn into Saitama because then it's not going to be fun betting anymore because you're always going to know who's going to win. See, and then, and then you'll be like, oh, I'll just throw this bet, but it won't feel good because you'll be like, well, I already know who's winning, so I'm not even really throwing. I'm just throwing away money. Just throw it away. See? see the difference is... He got bored with beating people up. I don't think I would get bored with spending money. <laughs> spending so... money. No, you said making money. You didn't say nothing about spending it. You said your oh, superpower is just making it. My my superpower was getting money. <laughs> yeah. So I get money. That's boring, dude. So go get a job, you lazy <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I'd rather just have a superpower and get money for free. Yeah, just, just be like. Off. Boop money just fuck off dude. I love the strip clubs what are you talking about <laughs> yo oh, that'll shit. be my home what do you mean <laughs> I hear they have good buffets it'll be a good time oh, oh I shit. hear they got a whole bunch of good stuff in there <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about Lord <laughs> oh, what, what would your superpower be I always wanted to be Nightcrawler growing up. I thought his superpower was fucking dope. The dude from the X-Men who can, like, teleport oh, himself. Yeah, he leaves, yeah, like, the black so cloud. So, instant, tr instant tr teleportation, basically. Yeah. I okay. thought that was cool as shit. I feel like he had another superpower. That was his main one, but I feel like... Wait, outside of his tail... Outside of it, that's not really a power. Did he? I feel like he had another superpower outside of his teleportation. He could do something else yeah, too. Yeah, he had. Let's. See, he had. He could. Yeah, and he could hide in the shadows. Uh, he had night vision, yes. agility, flexibility of the tail, and he can like stick to stuff. So he's kind of like Spider Man. He can like oh, crawl okay, on okay, walls. Okay, 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 okay. So I thought he was pretty cool. You, yeah, yeah, no, no, not crawler. Yo, Nightcrawler is a G. Dude, he's, yo, he's Nightcrawler's a G. Yo, Nightcrawler's a G. Like, what do you mean? He was like one of the fit men. Yo. Oh, I forgot. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you brought See? that up. Dude, look because, at that. Um, Every time I bring up Nightcrawler to people at first, they're like, oh. And then they have the realization that you just did where they're like, wait a minute. Nightcrawler was a fucking G. And, and just go. And just the X-Men game on GameCube back in the day apocalypto but that was yeah. the second one do you remember that game where all all four y'all it was a four player and yep. all y'all could have that game was that so hold on a second <laughs> what is it uh i'm trying to remember yeah i just wait nightcrawler was in deadpool 2 what Oh, X Men Legends! Yo, that was my game. Yo, really? that game <laughs> was so fire. Right, uh, X Men Legends Two was Rise of Apocalypse. Yo, that game was so fire, bro. X Men Legends was so tough. I know, did I play that one? That was the four player. It was like on GameCube. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I know which one that was. It yeah, was like yeah. it was like the it was like one of the like the illest X Men game that was on GameCube. Like yo, yep. it was it was it was yo that game was mad. It was just yo it was just like <laughs> Marvel Alliance. It was just like my Marvel cousin. Alliance. My cousin owned that shit. Now it's coming back to me. Now it's coming back to me. Or was my it was my cousin's kid, so my second cousin. Uh, I remember that. Yeah, he had that shit because he was a huge GameCube guy. 
Yo, bro, uh-huh. GameCube. Yo, you know, yo, you actually know what I've been doing lately? I've actually been mm-hmm. writing down my favorite games of all time. What's your because... What's your favorite video game of all time? Oh, Destiny Two. Okay. Word. Yeah, Destiny Two. Can you take a guess um, at what mine is? You'll never guess it. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna guess it. Uh, it's, like Dark Souls. Uh, <laughs> that Dar- no. The Dark Souls franchise is a top five game series for me. It's Bioshock Two. Hands down. Oh, okay. That was my favorite one. Uh, Bioshock was made, or a studio that helped make it is one from Boston, which yes, is fire. Sir. Yeah, Bioshock Two. I just remember. I actually hated Bioshock One. But then when uh, Bioshock 2, and like I didn't even be, I got like halfway through it. And when they introduced like, oh, now you can take photographs of your enemy. I was like, oh, fuck this. I don't want to do this shit. I'm like, this is a stealth rogue game about like mutating yourself and hunting murderers, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, now take photos. I was like, all right, fuck that. <laughs> but then, and they were like, you're underwater, sea creatures, all this crap. But then the second game when they're like, now you play as one of the bad guys from the first game. I was like, oh, okay. I'll play as Mr. Bubbles. This is sick. Let's do it. Um, Fell in love with that shit. Oh, dude, that's the greatest. I want. I want to buy an unsealed, like like a uh, deluxe edition off eBay for like a hundred bucks. I might. I don't know. And just have like have like a sealed version of it. Be like my favorite mm-hmm. game of all time. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Yeah, I've been adding mad games to this list because there are yeah. a whole bunch of games that I used to love mm-hmm. that I just completely forgot that I used to play. And it, it, sometimes, like just like how you just did, yeah. something will happen during the day, and I'll be like, "Oh, I forgot, yo! I used to love that game." Yeah, and then I just write the game down because this... I'd be for yeah. <laughs> Shout out to this other podcast. Uh, uh, how did this get? Oh, and now it's called Get Played. It used to be called How Did This Get Played, and they started off like just talking about like super shitty games from the past, but now it's just like weird or crazy. Or... Now it's like encompassing all games. And and they're like, two of the hosts are like ten years older than us, and the other one's like about our age, and they constantly talk about old ass games from like the late nineties, early two thousands, and I'm just like, oh my god, I remember this fucking game, and I spent yeah. too much time playing it. Yeah. And and they'll be like, oh man, I remember this kid he used to rent it from Blockbuster. You got like Final Fantasy like nine for Blockbuster, and he'd have to keep renting the same exact disc every single day so that no one else could play it and ruin his save oh. game because remember before you could say you had to get memory cards and shit yes so if you yes. didn't have a memory card you couldn't save your game so yes. you had to like re-rent the same like cartridge all the time so that his so no one else would like overwrite his save data and he had to get the <laughs> same shit all the time he would go on and be like that i want to rent this man. game again but this this one. I'm returning this one. I want you to put it back in my hand. <laughs> I remember That's doing that shit, that too. Funny. Uh, oh, my God. But, yo, did you hear the good news? Speaking of amazing, cool, awesome shit, that's great. Jiu-Jitsu... No, but you're going to tell me. <laughs> Jujitsu Kaisen Zero movie to theaters in America on March 18th. Ooh. Tickets go okay. on sale February 25th, Lawrence. So I'll buy us both our tickets February 25th. Cause you already okay. know we're seeing that that on uh, like that day. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna have Dude, to. if you okay. want, we can go see it in IMAX. It's coming to IMAX, dog. Oh 1500 theaters nationwide <laughs> with IMAX theaters included. I'm Holy super down for shit. that. So that's okay, they probably talk about that. I was just looking at my YouTube subscription videos. And I just passed one that says major news for Jujutsu Kaisen. So that's probably season two. So that's probably so, yeah. It's probably the them probably gonna, probably, yeah. Because this article saved me from watching a video. <laughs> <laughs> this article dropped at nine a.m. this morning, and I saw it, and I was gonna tell you, and I was like, I'll wait to the podcast. Yeah. I'll, I'll, so yeah, March eighteenth. Mark your calendar. That's what. Yo, we're I actually it. haven't read. I haven't read uh, JJK manga in a while. In right? a while. Because remember, I remember I caught all the way up. I read right. every single episode to, uh, up till a couple of weeks ago, um, and then they did the bleach shit where they're giving people powers. Where I'm like, yo, look, don't whip out laptop no jutsu. We're <laughs> laptop not doing that. no jutsu. <laughs> you know, we're not like, doing no. that. We're not doing that here. I know. So I was, and that kind of that kind of was like I was like, 
So I haven't read since then, <laughs> but that's just me being chippy. I, right, I need right, to go. Right. There, there are probably a couple episodes, but I, I haven't. But I read all the way up to sixty three. That was where the last episode was. The la- for when I caught up. Right. And then so I caught all the way up. So I think it's. A, I might. I might read. I might catch up back again tonight. It'll probably be like five or five or six, maybe uh, chapters, right. maybe. But yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till it's all done so I can just. <clears throat> buy the box box set set. and then read it but i i hate reading and watching at the same time because it just ruins one or the other of the experience for me i like to either Uh, read it and then watch it or watch it and then read it because if i do yeah yeah, if i do them at the same time then i just compare them and i'm like yeah this sucks because one Mm -hmm. of them's obviously better than the other no matter which one like whichever one you like more Mm-hmm. So yeah, cause I haven't read Demon Slayer, and I'm not, I'm not going to. I rather just now that it's on TV, I'm like, yeah. No, and re- remember what I told you last like, week about the dude who's like, oh, I don't watch it because I read it, and I'm like, what the fuck does that mean, dude? <laughs> You're not gonna show support about something you love and watch the thing. Just like obviously, I know it's different. Doesn't mean it's bad. Ugh. Sweet God. Yo, that was mad funny when that you were talking so about that funny. last week. That was mad <laughs> funny. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta do it. You gotta do it again. Nah, I forgot what you said, but it was mad funny about how he said and you yeah, you was just like Dog, I was so mad when he said <laughs> like, that. I was like, what the, that doesn't make like, any okay. fucking sense. What? Oh it's like, okay. All right. Oh man. Sure. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, I was uh I was salty I, last week, but have you watched anything this week? Ozark, just... as you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got that last episode of part one, season four, and then I'll be all caught up. Actually, literally, oh, so we, we, I literally, I finished it yesterday, and yeah, so you're gonna finish it today. I was, so I was, yeah, we, we can talk about. It later. I, I was gonna finish uh, it yesterday, but uh, I, I ended up doing some wood burning yesterday, so <laughs> nice. that cut into my watching time. But I'm gonna finish it tonight. So that'll be dope. I'm trying to think anything. Speaking of week. watching time, speaking of watch, Ooh. you got that bad boy on? Uh, or or oh, is on, it near? On, on. You know I always keep it near, dog. Hey, let's see. That's what's up. That beautiful Nighthawk that used to be in the store when I worked at Jared. I love that. Oh, thing. really? Yeah, that thing is fire. Uh, the Citizen. Yeah, yeah. Love this that's thing. why I knew. I was like, "Yo, is that the city?" I was like, "Is that Citizens?" Uh, you know it, Doug. Yeah, uh, man, that that shit's fire, bro. That is a tough watch. We were that just we tough. were there, and I I keep bringing up that I want to watch like all the time to her, and then we were just at the fucking mall on Sunday, and she was just like, "I'll buy it right now. I don't care." valentine's day gift i was like what she just did cash money what? no no <laughs> so i will i thought my superpower was getting money <laughs> apparently <laughs> she just threw the money in the woman's <laughs> face and walked away that's nah. what's up though we yeah, spent nice we watch, spent way too much money in that store saturday between me and my mom and her it was bad i would hate to see you two at the fucking boston anime con we're banned i don't think i don't think either of us are allowed to go there together we can go separately but not together Yo. oh jeez. when the next one comes to boston i'll bring her and you'll you'll see the madness that ensues yeah it'll be like chris you guys could have bought a house with the amount of money you guys just spent at this fucking place <laughs> I have, the saddest thing is, I probably won't even be mad at you, man. Because you'd be doing the same have the, thing. They have the coolest Dog, shit we... that you have no reason spending your money on. You're like, oh my god, bro. Dude, remember, remember when we went? How much money bro, we dropped that day? Yo, and we didn't even... I, yo, I I had to be like, yo, don't look certain ways. Like, I had to be like, yo, bro, don't... Don't let bro, me go no, over bro, there. Bro, we walked by the video game section, and I was like, yo, why they got every nostalgic game ever? Dude. I was like, what? And that was back when I had, like, just quit one of my jobs, because I hated it. So I had, like, no money. This time, I'm fucking locked and loaded. <laughs> it, it's like, yo... <laughs> If I even look in your direction, I'm I'm copping it. You better hope I don't look at you or else you're coming home with me. Like, you're copped. Like, 
Yeah, man. Uh, nah, the Lake Clans are dope. Uh, did you watch any? You watch? Have you watched anything else? Ozark. I'm trying to think. Since last week, uh, dude. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I don't think so. I was, I was busy most of the week because it was Thursday night. Oh, I've been watching a lot of horror movies. And I listen to a horror oh, okay. movie podcast, and they keep bringing up old movies that I love. So I just been like watching. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, speaking of that, I might um, I might check out the the what is it like Arc eighty one? I might check that out. Archive eighty one. Yeah, my, was, the new. It was yeah. good. It was good. Yeah, it was super. I know. I remember creepy. you telling me about it. I remember you telling me about it. Yeah, that's what I finished last week. Yeah, it was super creepy, and the ending was wild. Oh, that last episode was wild. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. What about you? Playing, uh, doing anything? Outside of Ozark. Um, I absolutely had to watch that. That's one of the show. That's one of my uh, my. That's one of my shows. Um, hell yeah, man! I finished that yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, outside of the two uh, episodes on Sunday that dropped, um, Demon Slayer and AOT. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of those, I haven't really watched. Now nah, that's 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 been it. Yeah, I watched Takagi San and Demon Slayer. Those are the only two I'm watching right now. <coughs> but uh Yeah. Kinda of slow. I've been play- I went to cards on sa- Saturday and I was there for like fourteen hours. Oh. I just spent my whole fucking day there. Those are the greatest days. I know. It was good. It was a good day. <laughs> you you get there when the sun's out, you leave when the sun's when the sun's down. <laughs> you yep. spent all all day yeah. at a hobby league is like the greatest. Those no, the greatest. we were leaving and Billy was like, "Oh my god, guys, it's like it's like pre-COVID days. We were sitting here, we got here at noon, we didn't leave till two a.m. We're the last ones to leave." I was like, "I know, dog." Oh man, Dude, we used to before I met Abby and before COVID hit, I, I, like I'd go in at like noon, we and I'd be leaving at like five a.m. and we'd be that leaving, and he would just go home, go to bed. Point. He would wake up at eleven thirty and just go back to the store to open it for there. Right and I'd be and I would be right back there with him, with, with all the guys. Okay. And there would be a few days where we just pull all nighters, and I'd leave the shop at like six thirty and just go straight to work. After getting there from work the night before. <laughs> you okay? That is insane. Yeah, <laughs> that I wasn't is, even the only one. That and I, I would great, like leave though. at six thirty and I'd call in it. Like I'd call him at like nine, be like. Yo, you guys, he's like, yeah, we're still at the store, like, hanging out. Be like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, no, nah, that's that sounds like a great time. Uh, those were the days, man. Uh, God, so Abby's doing this great thing where she can hear what I'm saying. And uh, she, did, she didn't like the fact that I was gone for, like, 14 hours on Saturday. She texted me, I would milk you if you did that again. And I was like, what the fuck? And she goes, kill, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I would milk... Lawrence, I'm gonna milk you if you say that shit again. That's my new, oh, my new insult, dog. <laughs> uh, but speaking of milking people... <laughs> Why don't we get into this week's fucking episode? It has nothing to do with this first episode. <laughs> what do you mean, dog? Okay. There was um milk somewhere. I think he actually bought some milk when he was at the store, to be honest. I could be wrong. Nah, I don't know if he did. Oh, well, there was milk at the store and he was at the store, so fuck off. It all, <laughs> it all connects. <laughs> <laughs> did you see milk on the shelves motherfucker then yeah. that means i can say whatever the fuck i want yeah, i can say whatever the fuck i want bitch <laughs> oh, right. jesus christ dude. one one punch man uh yo is it me i don't care you do him yeah I'll, I'll say let it. you do it one punch man is a japanese superhero franchise created by the artist one uh. <clears throat> One wrote the original webcomic, a version in early 2009. A digital manga remake began publication on Shuisha's <laughs> Shuisha's Tonari. No young. Okay, hold on, hold on, because I know I'm saying I'm breaking up like these is two different. No, these are all publication on Shanisha's 
Tonari No Young Jump website in June 2012. I don't. Yeah. So the first season aired in Japan between October 5th, 2015 and December 21st, 2015. Yeah. Hella old. And the second season aired between yeah. April 9th, 2019 and July 2nd, 2019. There are 24 episodes and 12 OVAs. 12 OVAs? They're all I'm short, a... though. They're like 8 to 10 minutes long. They're not like full-length episodes. Are they? Do they just cover... Do they replace the 24 episodes that just made them OVAs? Or are those completely new, different... It's completely new thing. They're like uh, one-offs. They're, they're, they're not part of the main story. They're all like little side stories that happen. I think one of them deals with like zombies or some shit. I forget. It's all like a little okay. one-off side stories. And not just about One Punch Man, but about like a bunch of the other characters too. Gotcha. Yeah. The opening theme song is The Hero Set Fire to the Furious Fist by Jam Project. And the closing theme is Hashiyori Saki Ni Mitsukete Ageru. Ag by yeah. Hiroko Moriguchi. One Punch Man tells the story of Saitama, a superhero who can defeat any opponent with a single punch, but seeks to find a worthy opponent after growing bored by a lack of challenge due to his overwhelming strength. The webcomic was considered an instant success shortly after its inception, receiving thousands of views and comments within weeks. <clears throat> The manga series was one of 10 nominated for the 7th annual manga Tai Shao Awards in 2014. The manga won the 2017 Sagoi Japan Award. The first season of the anime received critical acclaim, receiving praise for its uniqueness. That is true. <laughs> Animation, humor, characters, and fight scenes. <clears throat> bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I love this show. I'm telling you, just get to the next episode. You don't even got to give it the three episode test. Just give it the two, Lawrence. So, so I mean, after watching it a second time, <clears throat> I, I definitely think the because I had to watch it a second time, my views were a little different. I forgot how many monsters he fought in this one too. Yeah, because all I remembered when I watched it was, was the, the crab, crab dude. I forgot right. about all the other shit. All the other shit. Dude, I thought the <laughs> the subterranean people... I thought that was like an episode 9 thing. I forgot that was an episode 1. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, uh, man. But, yeah, so so it starts off with a monster showing up, fucking everything up. You got Lightning Max and Smile Man. That's Lawrence. They get the ass beat. You see, the, you see Saitama. That's his name. He's watching. I love how he, he doesn't even have, like... You know how, like, in every other show with heroes, they're always like, oh, I gotta, I gotta say, or it's like an organism, get the, get so-and-so. He's just like, I guess I'll go. I'll get, I got nothing else. Like, this man just doesn't give a shit about anything, really, until he's, like, in the moment doing it. But when he's not actually fighting, he's so, like, bleh. And I also love when he's sitting and he's not fighting, they, like, have him super rounded, and he just looks like a literal dumbass. But then when he is fighting, they like angular. Do himself. they do that on purpose? Yeah, they do that on purpose. So it's to show you that it like makes him look stronger. Yeah. So like when he's actually fighting, they're like, oh, this is like, you know, he's the strongest man in the world. Look at how cool he looks, you know, blah blah blah. But because his personality is so like, I don't give a shit with dude. Wow. I just watch TV, I make food, I play video games. That's why they like round him out. And they like make his head super small, and he's just so kind of like a. So they specifically do that, yeah, to show they do they did yeah. do that on purpose. Like that's yeah. a thing that they okay. So that's right. when you can tell when he's like being serious and when he's just like fucking around is on the on him like whatever art style he's in because he'll do like oh, I'm trying to remember when he was um. No, you're 100 right. Yeah, because it there's a bunch of scenes like later on where he's just like he'll be like picking his nose and like. Just talking to people would be like, you suck. Like, like fucking around. With and it'll be drawn like his little stupid character. But then yeah. when he's like actually saving someone or anything, he looks like Superman. Like they draw the shit out of yeah, this dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, See, the reason why I ask is because I feel like the reason why I ask is because in mm -hmm. animes, they do that. Mm -hmm. So, but 
it's to usually my knowledge, for like it's uh, not purposely. That's just when they draw it, when they're doing different things, they yeah. just draw it differently. So that's why I was like, do, are they doing that on purpose? And I believe yeah. I and believe that they are doing that on purpose. It's like usually in our, for uh for like comedic effect. They'll be normal and then when something funny happens and it cuts back to them, they'll be like super simply drawn to be like, Oh look, funny moment. They <laughs> they change it in this one. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, he goes, saves the little girl, says he's just a hero for fun. Vaccine man's the monster, gives this whole speech about humans are killing the earth, and he's brought in by Mother Nature, and he gets like fucking mad. He actually looks dope as shit, not gonna lie. No, he when does. he, no, when no, he no. transforms, you're like, oh, fuck. And he just fucking punches him in the gut he, and he explodes. He, yo, so since you said that real quick... <laughs> Oh, One shit. of my points here is the animation is 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 really good for this show. Oh, so yeah, yeah, this yeah. show, but this show came out mad long ago, Seven and I'm years still almost. saying that. Ugh. See, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> How long did this come out? 2015, like, like uh, October 2015. You know what I'm saying? And people, yeah. there are shows that have come out like from here. Yeah, and and I'm just like, yeah, that animation is not. So it goes to show you. Animation is just not some like with the times thing. Okay, yes, with the times, but like certain right. certain certain animes like could still look. The fact that they look different is like the studio really can make a show better by doing that if they right. want to do that. It depending on the type of anime it is. Like when I with this like this is my second time watching this first episode. The mm-hmm. I don't even remember the last time I watched this. It was years ago. Right. As soon as I put this on, I was like. And I seen Vaccine mm-hmm. Man when they first show him literally come down and start blowing stuff up. Right. I'm like, Yo, this animation's mad good. It, well, it's made so, by um Madhouse. And they do a lot of they do like Overlord. Let's see. They did Parasite the Maxim, No Game No I'm Trying to see uh oh, oh, we talked about them before. They did Hunter okay. X Hunter, the new Hunter X yeah, Hunter. Yeah. High see, School of right, the yeah. Dead. They did that one. So they they have They and, make good stuff. They do good stuff. If you look dude, if I send you they do a lot of stuff. Like when you go to the wiki and you click on they have it broken down by decades and you have to click on the and it brings you to a different wiki. That's how many shows they've done. They've done Yeesh. a fuck ton of and they've been working since seventy three, dog. Like these guys don't fuck around. They did Trigun. Card Caper Sakura, like they do everything, dog. Ah, uh, Madhouse, they're great. I'm trying to see what Boogie Pop, uh, Phantom, they've done that. Ah, uh, Chobits, let's see what else they do. Ninja Scroll the series, Gunslinger Girl, Gungrave, dude. These guys don't fuck around, bro. Monster, they did Monster. That's like one of Kenny's favorite shows. Yes, it is, yeah, it is. He talks yeah. about that. Nana, let's see. They, they did Claymore. Death Note. They did Claymore. Yeah, yeah, these dudes. Yeah, these, yeah, yeah. Nah, these, they're, they're, they're legit. They don't fuck around. <laughs> yeah. They're legit. They're legit. They're legit. They're legit. Yeah, they don't. They don't fuck. I mean, yeah, they got nah, to do Hunter X Hunter. Yo, theirs, this is a long fucking list. <laughs> I told you, these, these guys. Are legit. They are legit. And all this these is sh- mad shit. All the animations on these shows are good, too. It's not like they only save it for a yes. couple of. Like, all yes. their animes are good. So. Good for them. So that's that's already a sign of yo. If we if if you got anything from this show, Chris, we could put to we could put to we could put together that like, <laughs> say a brand new anime comes out, we could almost look at the illish the the. I can the tell most that's studios just it. looking at it. And 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 be like, we'd be like, yo, who made this? Okay, it'll probably be fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're we're almost to the point where I feel like we've done enough research through this show right. that we can be like, we know like, oh, Which nah, studio, studio. Yeah. studios. It like studios are like almost like like <laughs> not the superstar because I guess the person who's writing it is the superstar, but the right. studio can make the project it. even iller, or, or they can make it, it worse. Or they or break it. Yeah, like, you're right. Which so, guess what? One Punch Man season two. It was a different studio, oh, and it was heavily criticized animation wise. <sighs> it's not as good as season one. So it literally does make sense with the studio. Like very true. Yeah. And 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 animes be switching studios all the time. On all the time. 
especially with the company titan just did it yeah attack on titan just did it i mean this is still good but they're right. not they just switched someone new i think someone new is is doing their thing right um, and because a lot of studios sometimes they make so many anime that they have to like give it off because they're like we just can't we don't have the manpower to because we're working uh -huh. on these projects oh, man. so that's why it switches a lot or sometimes they just don't want to pick it back up for whatever reason and uh -huh. sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not <laughs> It all depends. So, so yeah, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say uh -uh, for my first book. Was that it was good in it? There's good animation. So yeah, so uh, you were, yeah, and, man just popped up and he fucking just punches the Died thing right from one point. Yeah. And he and he gets sad. He's like, fuck, dude. Again, oh, that was funny. Yeah, when I he's just like, all oh, that was mad pissed because he's like, great again, one punch. Cool. Yeah. And then we have a flashback to three years earlier when he has to fight Cra Crablante, the fucking. Do a crab from the top half and then just tidy whities from the bottom half down. Uh, and he wants to fight the ball sack kid. Jesus Christ. This kid's got a ball sack for a chin. And that he, was when, yeah. And he drew nipples on the little crab dude, so that's why he wants to kill him. Saitama, he, uh, he's jobless. He's not homeless. He just doesn't have a job. He's kind of dead inside. And uh, kills the crab when the crab tries to kill the kid. And that's when uh, he decides, oh, I'll train to become a hero. Because that's when he decided, like, oh, I wanted to be a hero as a kid. I might as well just become a hero now. And somewhere between those three years, he's become the strongest man on Earth and can kill everyone in one punch. Mm -hmm. uh, although he does kill Crab Man with a tie and not a punch. So That was his first kill ever. That was his first kill ever. Then he fights Bicep. No, then he... Is it Bicep's King? No, he fights that, like, when he's giving his speech about, like, I don't know what happened, like, I must have, to gain all this power, have given up my humanity. When he's, like, having that little speech to himself, like, some motorized villain shows up, oh, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've been looking for me, and I fire, and he just, like, fucking, not even think, just kills him. He just keeps I walking remember, away. It was, like, some vehicle, some 8970MK. Yeah. Yeah. Custom two. plate, bullshit, blah, blah, blah. And I remember that because the MK is a gun in Destiny. So when I oh. seen that, I'm like, yo, this man got the same name. <laughs> and that's why yeah. they killed him quick. Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, so then he, then he starts fighting Biceps King, who's a massive, huge, giant kaiju looking motherfuckers destroying cities and uh i actually really laughed at this part because because it, it's making one punch man's also kind of like a parody on other like yep. superhero shows i was just about to say <laughs> so when he's on he's just like standing on the shoulder of like you get the brother's backstory he's like one super smart and the other and he's like what the smart one's on one shoulder and saitam is on the other one he's like little brother there's a guy on your shoulder kill him and, the, and he like doesn't do anything for a second and then he kills his brother <laughs> instead of one punch man and he's just like no look what you made me do you did this to me <laughs> i thought that was fun i i die every time i see that shit but i had to rewind that because i was confused the first time i watched it i was like because <laughs> he went like this and then they never show what was in his hand till oh, after. Yeah, yeah. so he goes brother and i'm like <laughs> wait what <laughs> then I rewinded it and I was like, oh yeah, he's an idiot. He's so an idiot. he his brother was on his shoulder as well. So yeah. when he goes, kill the guy on your shoulder. But I love how there's like a just... pause. He like waits for a second, like he's thinking about which shoulder to hit. And he hits the wrong one. Cause and that's the time where it shows you who is who. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they don't, it's like far away. So you right. gotta be like, <laughs> oh, like that's da -da -da -da. exactly. And he's just like Yo. Bang. But, dude, the animation's sick, though, when he, like, picks him up and he, like, throws him all the way through, like, that skyscraper and, like, yeah. blows that shit and just starts, like, fucking punching yeah, down yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit looked dope. And then Saitama's what? like, boop, you're dead. Uh, One thing about this is the, the, the amount of enemies that were in this first episode, they all, because of the animation, it's all done really well. So mm -hmm. it's not like each one even if you're not into the the full premise of this even though that's why i think this show is very popular uh -huh. it's at least the you could tell the fight's gonna be good you can right. tell there are good fights in this i could already tell as soon as i saw vaccine man i was like yo the fights in the show are fire 
Especially when because because he does the classic like Dragon Ball Z like this is my first form and he's like (laughs) and he's like got the and these body transforms yeah 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 Yeah, you can you can already tell so the fact all these different enemies they all made them look the subterraneans when when he when he falls asleep and he's like oh and then he wakes up because they come in through his house yeah and then all of that and they start off small at first yeah and he starts fighting them all off it's like last man he's fighting and then the big ones show up and they're fucking massive and he's like finally the fight i've always wanted and he's like fucking fighting all these dudes and then the king shows up and he's got to fight that motherfucker dude that was a sick fight though yeah it was. you have to admit for for an ending of a of a first episode that shit was fire mm-hmm Except mm-hmm. that's not the ending, because he wakes up. It was all a mm-hmm. dream. <laughs> I love how he fucking smashes his alarm into the floor below him. Yeah. Too. He doesn't break it, he just, like, sends it to the floor below him. But, uh, he wakes up, and then the subterraneans actually show up, and he fucking flies out, because he's all pumped. He's like, they're here! And he kills one, and they just throw up a white flag, being like, sorry, and they all go back underground. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor guy. The man just wants a real fight, dog. That's all he wants. Yeah. The plight of that, being the strongest man in the world. He, uh, the, <sighs> the, 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 I think it's important to mention that they, like, he, he's, ha- he's having the, he's having the mad anime people do this. But, <laughs> like, oh, they have the, their sense of being, like, oh, right. why am I here? Like, I'm not having fun. Like, he's like, a, which what's is, the point yeah. of this? Why why am I doing this? I like this is not fun for me. My heart is not in it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not this He's is like not, I've gotten so powerful, but I've lost my other emotions. So I just exactly. there's like nothing inside of me. And he's just like, Was this the trade off to becoming so powerful that me, like I lose everything else? And so especially because his yeah. tagline when he fights is I'm just a hero for fun. Like that's his tagline. So it's not cool. like he doesn't fight like you know how like Ichigo's like I'm fighting to save my family and ever and like Goku's he's like, like Hisoka. He's like Hisoka. Yeah. And eighty other anime people, the people who are just like I just the people who are nasty. Oh, like Kenpachi. Hisoka yeah. Kenpachi, he's just like them. He just yeah. likes to he just wants like, a challenge. Just he doesn't really care much about anything else. Up. Exactly. Whether you're good or bad, I'm gonna fuck you up. Exactly. Square up. And that's Saitama. He's he's except he doesn't fight good people. He tries not to. He only fights the bad guys. But uh did you watch the end credits? Or no? I did. Oh, okay. That's I Genos. Did, yeah. Episode two, Genos and, and One Punch Man fight. And that fight's sick. Mm-hmm. Cause Genos goes fucking full Iron Man on this motherfucker. It's pretty dope. But uh the, 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 yeah, what'd you oh, think? The the uh so the one the one last thing that I have up here is, uh, and then I, and then I'll get to that. So the premise, I think this show did really well outside of the animation. Definitely helped, obviously, because yeah, it's time to show the fighting. I think the premise is what got a lot a lot of people like this because it's different. I was about it's, to say, yeah, it's not someone trying to make it to the top. He's the already about someone there. who's already at the top, and he's just like. And he doesn't take the villain route of already being at the top, or like the Kenpachi route. He's just like, I hope a bad guy shows up that can actually fight me. I'm not gonna actively like fight good guys and fight like one day, please, bad guy show up. But like, if when he's not, he's doing like the most mundane bullshit, and he does it on his hero costume, like when he's shopping at the grocery store. And she's like, oh, that would be like 400 something in. You see him in his little coin purse, but he's wearing yeah. his full fucking outfit, like in line. Yeah. And like the little kid's like, mom, look, it's a here, mom, mom. And she's yeah. just like, she's like, fucking shut up. I'm shopping. Shut up. Shut up. And she's just <laughs> like, mom, look. And he's like, I got to change. Hold on. I thought, dude, this dude, he, he's just like an everyday dude who's a hero for fun. And he just fights bad guys. Exactly. It's like, and, it, it feels. I know you'll love this show. Because they do your favorite thing. They just didn't do it in this episode. They gave you a tease. Remember the very first monster uh, monster showed up and she said we need to assess this threat level? But then they never... This show has tiers and rankings of heroes and villains, dog. I know you love that shit. They They have rankings for heroes and it's like... I think it starts at D and it goes all the way up to A and then like the top 10 who are like S class heroes. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert, Saitama's not even ranked. Because he never went to that thing because he doesn't know about the Hero Association. 
so he just never went. So no one, no other hero even knows he exists. They all just like show up to crime scenes and they're all like, "Who's this guy?" No, they're like, "I thought there was a monster here," and they're like, "I see a shit ton of blood that's green, but <laughs> and a half crab, and that's it." Because he never sticks around afterwards; he just leaves. Right. So no one knows he exists. And then for the villains, there's like a bunch of different like they have. I think it's like monster class, like god class, like titan class like shit like that they have all different titan classes dude there's a monster in season two that's like op as shit and he's like super mega titan i don't know but yeah they do all that baseball batman he's a he's a rank s hero he's just a dude with a bat (laughs) he's literally just a dude with a baseball bat that's it i think he's ranked like number nine or some shit (laughs) some of these heroes are like you can tell you're like, oh, this is one of those like parody sh-. like you saw Smiling Man. What the fuck yeah. is his superpower, dog? Yeah. There's one I think it's like Ramen Rider. I forget what his name is. He just rides a bicycle, dog. That's a super. He rides a bike really good, and he's a superhero. And you're like, what? <laughs> he actually shows up a lot in this show too, and he like helps One Punch Man out a lot. <laughs> and he has like all these dramatic fight scenes and shit. And you're like, dude, you're just the dude with a helmet and a bike. What are you talking about? <laughs> dude on the helmet and a bike. That's that's all, that's all he does. He just has like a little bike, and he's just like, ah, I want to save them. And you're like, with what? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I love this show. What do you think, Lord? So, uh, you know, I think um, I would give. I would give, like I said before, Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a different perspective now. This is one of those shows where, like, if it's your first anime, or one of your first, or, like, you haven't branched out to anything other than, like, the quote-unquote mainstream, you're just kind of, like, meh. But once you've, like, branched out and you've seen a bunch of other stuff... And you have a bigger appreciation. Like, like you know how you just started liking how the... someone would get into this first. I can definitely... But I see what it's, you're saying. I see what you're saying. Because it is a parody anime. It's making fun of, like, a lot of other animes. So you yeah. gotta, like, have an appreciation for it, you know? Yeah, it'd be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It'd be like going to watch Deadpool, but never having watched or read any other superhero bullshit. And Deadpool is, like, your first one. You'd be like, huh? What's so funny? Why is he talking to me? Who are these people? I don't get any of this. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's that kind of thing, you know? Mm-hmm. But like, once you go and you see all the rest of the shit, then you can come back and you go, oh, I get all these references. Oh, I get why this is funny now. Oh, okay. I get it now. That type of thing, you know? Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, uh, trying to think of a good example. It's like, it's like, it's like the scream of, of action anime. You know how Scream is like a meta horror movie where when you watch it, but you've never watched any other horror movie, you're sitting there like, why are they just telling me what's going to happen in this movie? I don't get it. Why do people like this? But if you've seen 800 other horror movies and then you watch Scream and they give you the rules of how to survive a horror movie during the movie, you're like, oh, a meta commentary on slasher films, final girls. Why you should always turn around. Why you never go off one by one and you stay... Like, all that kind of stuff. You're like, I get it now. But if you haven't seen anything leading up to it, you're like, I don't understand what any of this is. That's how I view One Punch Man. Okay. That's just me. Okay, that's a good example. Yeah. That's a good example. <clears throat> um, bum, bum, bum. I'm just an anime snob. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I would... I would... I would... Uh... I would give I would give the first episode of One Punch Man a D minus, um, like a a a B B plus. Okay. Um. <clears throat> hey, that's a fair score. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. 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 Because. Um. It didn't do anything wrong. I mean, it's it a valid kinda, score to give it. I'm not it didn't lie. do anything wrong. I think because I barely give anything A's or above. Yeah. So they gotta like to blow me, your fucking I, mind out. Yeah, I yeah. keep it. I keep it consistent. I keep my scores consistent. Like right. if you're getting the A, then I thought like you. For me, if 
for this show to have been an A, they would have had to do the subterranean thing the whole episode. Like, that level of intensity the whole episode is what I feel like would have made you give it an A. Like, because, like, the emotions and the craziness and the fight, that little snippet did not match the rest of the episode. Because it's, like, the episode, I want to say, is broken up into, like, five chunks that yeah, are all, like, up, yeah. Of, like, four different. Fucking... Yeah, and they're all different. They don't. But it's like the same but different. So like have so the show would have to be like that subterranean bit the whole time to like blow you out of the water. Check this you know out. I mean? Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. I but I I don't okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. For me, mm-hmm. well, that beeping I would still give something to A, mm-hmm. even if like so even if the subterranean thing wasn't an episode. The see the thing for me is mm-hmm. If you're if you have a good first episode, mm-hmm. I'll give you a good score. Right. You'll get you know I you'll mean, get B, a B. B B plus you'll is get a still B. a good score. If you that's to me, I think that's a really good score because I barely yeah. give A's. If I give you an A, for me to for me a rank A mm-hmm. is, I'm not just because you're good. I'm not going to give you an A. Right. You uh, for me an A is you have to be more than that. You got to have to have been like. Yo, I had to have yeah. been like this the whole first ep, or right. or not the whole, but the episode had to add something like, "Yo, right," and not everything does that for me. Right, so right, right. me giving me giving you an A, I, that it's like they those don't even count because I normally just <laughs> like right, you know what I'm saying? That's like my standard is, "Yo, you did good, like you did yeah, great, yeah. like I'm gonna give you a B." Like if you would, if I was like. Yo, I gotta watch episode two right now. Right. Then I'm giving you an A. That's my A. But yeah, I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with um like um there's nothing wrong with that. So I would right. give like One Punch Man did was good. Like the end of the animation's good. The first the first episode didn't have anything that had me like, yo, this is mad boring. Or right. like, yo, like this, that's why I'm saying. I think it made a difference that I watched this X amount of years later. Cause maybe the first time, maybe I didn't, maybe I was, pro- you know, I was younger. I right. was like, maybe I just did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I have to watch it differently now. Cause this is a, the, we're doing a podcast, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes time makes a difference. Right. So, you know, uh, Oh, trust me. There so, are, it's like movies I watch all the time where like, I'll watch a movie that came out like, 2004 be like this fucking you watch sucked. it when you're an adult and, and it, you're like yeah yep yeah. or even a movie <laughs> that i loved back then i watch as an adult and i'll be like wow this movie sucked ass Yo, like vice versa or, true... or or you yeah. pick up on stuff that you couldn't when you were a kid because you, exactly you don't get it as a kid and then you're like exactly holy shit like like exactly. da vinci code when that Those movie, are the best moments when the da vinci code oh. came out i was like i want to watch this dude this looks boring as fuck i want i watched that like a couple months ago movie's fucking fire dog <laughs> but i know if i had watched it when that movie came out i would not have liked it you wouldn't have thought I wouldn't that have, like... i wouldn't have liked it but now uh-huh. i'm older and i like actively watch that type of shit i watched it and exactly. i was like this movie's a fucking masterpiece exactly yeah. exactly so so yeah i think i think one punch man definitely had uh a good a, a good first episode there was there was nothing that was like you know this this is this don't make no sense this is this is corny. The the vehicle man did did did, did that serve a purpose? What no, happened? Like that was what? just like a dumb. That was just a. That thing. was just like a thing to show like, like how how like out of place One Punch Man is compared to everything else. Because like the bad guy shows up, be like, I know you've been looking for a child, blah blah blah, and he's just like so into his thoughts, he doesn't even like uh, yeah. register threat True. levels that normal. So I don't people... even count that. You're yeah. right. You're right. I don't count. I don't count that. I don't count that. Yeah, he's like so, such yeah. an insignificant villain that to other people <laughs> is like, oh my god, a bag. That Saitama's like literally swats him away like a bug, and he explodes. <laughs> the man literally explodes. That's like it's just another like, oh, look at how fucking dumb OP Testament he is. to his power. Yeah. yeah. Um so yeah, that's that's what I got. Uh you know, the premise, I, I think the premise helps a lot mm-hmm. because it the premise is backwards. We're used to watching someone rise to power. This is someone has all of it. So now what is so how What's is next? life? Yeah. How is life with that? How is what, life? What do you do that? once you get the thing? 
and you've exact, achieved it. Exactly. What you do once you get the thing. And there's nothing beyond it. There's not another step. You're at the top. It's like so yeah. the the fact that this show is as popular as it is because you got to be you got to let's be honest you got to be living under a rock if you've never heard of One Punch Man before <laughs> even if you've never watched it right you you've at least heard of it at some point I know that a lot of people like this show mm -hmm. and I know that it's different so to me that told me they did a really good job with this premise because if if you would have just like looked at from like the outside you'd be like he's already the strong like how ill could it be if you want to no know what's funny a challenge type think shit? you feel think me? of a superhero out right now that's like one punch man the strongest dude in the world and he fights for the good people who does that remind you of the strongest man in the world can do everything and always wins he's a he's the best guy ever who does that remind you of Superman? <laughs> Superman. Think of Superman. Can do everything. Has everything. He has the girl. He has the job. He's Superman. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. That's One Punch Man, and he's essentially a parody of Superman. Because he's like, yeah, I can do everything. Who gives a shit? Now what? There's no fulfillment in my life. So it's a parody on Superman. It's like, what if Superman... Is it really? Yeah. It's because he's the strongest man. No one can compete with him. And, and he literally beats you with one punch. That's his whole thing. Superman, you know, he... It doesn't matter who you are. He has a power that deals with you. Because he's <laughs> Superman. He can do it all. <laughs> you know? He said he has a power that can... He can shoot laser. He can spit ice. He can fly. Can he's super strong. He's right. Like, and that's one... One Punch Man is just a pair. He's like, oh, what if Superman was just a lazy piece of shit that was bored because he can't find anyone to fight anymore and he just beats okay. up because when you think about superman like he always wins he never fucking loses even when he loses quote unquote does he actually lose no he doesn't actually lose he just What's says his name? you just get Dark the rock away from him a little bit and then he's fine um and that's like the whole what? thing where it's like superman's weakness is a his fucking planet or whatever the fuck like mm -hmm. so that's one punch man's like a whole parody on superman you what know. would you what, what, what do you rate this oh, the b plus b plus yeah as a whole would you give, a's, would you go but... would you give it an a minus it sounds like you wanted to go a little bit higher i because i have watched a bias because i've seen all of it so i obviously want to give it as a whole into the a's but oh, only okay, one okay, okay. first episode b plus <laughs> okay for okay. all the same reasons you did but because i've seen all of it dude the fight when he meets Genos, that dude at the end, he, he's a cyborg. The shit that the fucking yeah. fights that he did, and uh, he takes him on as an apprentice. Oh my god, it's so good. And then the other superheroes you meet, and the villain, dude. Season two's main bad guy is a human that joins the League of Monsters as a villain because he sees himself as a monster. Because like when he was a little kid, he was always like, "Oh, why do we keep picking on mon? Not all monsters are bad." We don't have to kill him. Not everyone's like, no, kill the monsters, blah, blah, blah. And then they all start treating him like shit because they think he's like a monster sympathizer. So he grows up to be like a super strong. And he like was trained by one of the S-class heroes. And he decides to join with the monsters and like fight the good guy. It was, it was a good storyline. Animation sucks, but the storyline was fucking dope. Um, so that gets over that for me. That is. Yeah. That's but, so, that's such a bad And then idea. season one's just like. One Punch Man joins the Hero Association, same with season two, and like Genos is learning from him. And it's like, you know how like Batman has Robin and Batman's like teaching Robin all the things he's got to do? It's in this, it's Genos is teaching under One Punch Man, but he's teaching One Punch Man all the shit he needs to do to be a hero. But then Genos will be like, One Punch Man will like go and do something. Genos like, oh my God, that makes so much. He went from here to here. Oh my fucking God. He, Master is so smart. And you're like, bought eggs on sale what are you talking about it's like <laughs> oh and dude when you find out one punch man like how he became strong you're just like this is so dumb and then yeah. and then it reminds you of superman you go he's fucking stupid i hate <laughs> i hate dog i hate superman so much oh my god uh, that's why i think that's why i love this so much because it makes fun of superman a lot without actually without actually name dropping superman but yeah b plus for me it's a good show well, watch it yeah 
it definitely is a good show guys i mean you can't doubt that you know we've heard a lot about we've heard a lot about this over the years so yeah. good animation you know it has a good story um yeah i'll definitely give it a shot <clears throat> for sure for sure you know what time it is lawrence yep it's time to spin the wheel uh all right i'll let you pick first this week you pick you pick or i picked first last week uh let's see spin it go live all right Laurencia, what are you picking uh, um, I'm gonna pick time I got reincarnated as a slime. Great fucking show! Holy shit, so good. Uh, are you oh, talk- really, Chris? I had no idea. <laughs> I have I have him as a little action figure <laughs> over over there. Uh, are you picking that color too, or no? You're doubling down. Um, for the color, I'm gonna pick red. Red and that time we got so it's green. All right. Yeah. I'm going to pick green and uh, I'll do Castlevania. Cause why not? Hey. All right, let's we are that wheel. way past time we were supposed to fucking review that. Yeah, right. Dude, oh you got god, so close. Oh my god. You got god. so close. Oh my god. You got the color though. There you go. You got another point. Hero's Mask. Damn. I, like I love Hero's Mask, but damn, I really wanted to do slime. But Hero's Mask is really good. This is the uh that anime I was telling you about that's kind of similar to um to like a James Bond anime. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's 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 pretty good. I liked it. It's on Netflix, if I remember correctly. Word. I could be talking Word. out of my ass. Who knows? Because nine anime's been getting me tight lately. They <laughs> hate that website. Bro, oh, have you that? used it uh, recently? Have you? Do you use nine anime at all? Yeah, I used it on Sunday. Yo, bro. <laughs> why do they hate? Why do they hate? Why do they hate on nine anime? Why does nine anime have so many haters using that site, bro? It's been like two seconds. Wait, what are you doing? Dot Cause they'd be mad. Pop. They'd be mad. Like yo, when you click to pause it, and a pop up so comes you, up every time. Have, so it'd be taking me like, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. I do. And your I computer sucks. Blocker. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, yo, I have. I don't understand. I have pop up. But when I use Opera GX, that doesn't happen though. Oh. So I feel like maybe it's Chrome. Like I don't know. Like yo, nine anime. It didn't used to be this bad. Like uh-huh. it's bad. Like yo, I be trying to enlarge the screen. You uh-huh. hit the enlarge screen, pop up thing. I'm like, <laughs> I'll exit it, hit the enlarge the screen, pop up. I'll be like, okay, let me pause it. It won't even let me pa- pop up. I'll have to, I have to do that like six times in a row. Just to pause it. I'm like, yo, nine anime. They are trying to. They, they hate, hate y'all dog. giving us free anime. They trying to have people not the traffic on your site be terrible but um <laughs> but yeah guys sorry about that rant but nah um, nine <laughs> anime nine anime is still a goal shout out to y'all they've been they've been holding it down for a long time hell yeah but uh but yeah guys you heard it here heroes mask next week for sure for you know sure. what it is we'll see you next week doses